and uh, she has been working very great in the fashion industry. And I welcome you, ma'am. Please come. Thank you, sir, for calling me here. And hi, everybody. Um, is there anybody from fashion, retail? Hi. <laughs> okay. So. So uh, about my background, I've got around 24 years of experience in fashion and uh, I've been lucky enough because I always wanted to be a fashion designer. When I was in sixth, I decided that I wanted to be in a fashion industry and uh, NIFT was really new at that point of time and being uh, in the family of quite conservative background, my family of doctors and, uh, and uh, bankers. So my and I was good in studies as well. So my parents and my dad specifically thought that I would do something in... Uh, so once my graduation was done, uh, he thought I'd go for a... Uh, go to Australia for my higher studies. I reminded him of his promise. I got through NIFT. And when I was going through NIFT, that was my uh, do or die situation. That you know, otherwise I'll have to go to Australia or get married. So before entering the exam, I went into, uh, I was really scared that, you know, I need to get through this. My uncle told me, he was with me, that, you know, don't look around. When you're writing your exam, don't look around. And I think in the whole hall, I was the only person who finished my exam. It was a creative exam, drawing and what all. So you know, in startup companies, start their work and you know the kind of work and involvement you need there uh, it just really really it just makes me really the competition is doing and you, when you really do things with your passion and you really come up with a lot of creativity so when you're talking about creativity it's very subjective and creativity is not only in fashion on retail so big so e com has this become the integral part of your business. Whether you have a physical shop or store or not, but then you need to have your web store. So how to be